Today we are going to talk about great tool. We are going to talk about Create React App. But before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button down there and to give us thumbs up. And if you are watching this on social media, a link for the full video you will find there or there. everyone! Today we are going to talk about one of the most useful tools in front-end development. Setting up React application can be difficult if you would like to do it from scratch, if you would like to set up Webpack, Bubble, Linter, testing library and stuff like that by ourselves. But we don't have to do that because there is one great tool and this tool is Create React App. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you about what is it, how to use it, how to install it, and if you need to install it actually, and some other very, very useful tips, tricks, and knowledge. So, let's start! So, let's find the answer for one of the most important questions in the beginning. So, what is Create React App? It's a tool provided by Facebook developers used to set up a simple single page application with React. So we are just using one command and we've got a simple React.js application ready. It's especially useful for beginners who don't want to go deep into setting Webpack, Bubble and other things and just want to start coding. But it's also useful for more advanced developers who want to bootstrap project quickly, fast, without any issues and spending time on debugging some weird commands in console. Create React App doesn't create backend. It doesn't set up database, it just creates frontend application. So you can take your application and connect it with any backend that you've got and any database that you've got. Under the hood, there is Webpack configuration and Bubble for transpiling JSX. So, let's find out how to install Create React App and if you have to do it. So, how to install Create React App? No, we don't have to install Create React App anymore. Previously, we had to install it globally on our machine using Yarn or NPM. But right now, it's recommended to just use NPX. What is NPX then? NPX is NPM package runner, so it downloads the package to our machine and it runs it and it saves it temporarily why it's good to use it with Create React App. Because Create React App is used just once per lifecycle of our application, so there's no point to install it globally on our machine, especially that NPX will always get the newest version for us. So, great point, we don't have to install anything, but how we can create React application using this great tool? Let's find out! So, we already know what is Create React App, that we don't have to install it. So, now we are going to find out how to actually create React application using this great tool. There are three methods of how we can do it. The most recommended one is using npx create React app and passing the application name how we want to name our app. Next one is using npm init react app and again passing the name for our future application. 
And the last one is with Yarn Create React App. And again, passing name for our application. The most recommended one is first one, so I would stick with that. And it's also easy one. If you have any bugs, issues coming after you try to install the application, make sure that you have correct versions of Node, NPM or Yarn if you are using it. Okay, now let's find out what is Create React App Template. When we are creating a new application with Create React App, we can use template. And template is predefined setup which includes different configs, different libraries and dependencies than just a basic setup. By default, Create React App comes with two templates, but about that we are going to talk in a second. And we can find a lot of ready Create React App templates in the internet. We can do it by going to npm website and then write SRA template and we can find different templates with different setups according to our needs. But there's one more opportunity. We can actually create a custom template for our favorite setup. So for example, if you are always creating the application that has, for example, Redux, uh, React Router, that has Prefure installed and Linker, you can create the setup that will always create your application with all those libraries, dependencies pre-installed. Isn't that cool? But let's go to the beginning. How to actually use templates with Create React App. So when we do it, we are using npx create react app, our app name, and then we are passing flag template with just a short name of the template, which means we don't pass this and we are just passing this. How to create your custom template for create react app? So the most important is to put the the following files that you can see currently on the screen. Starting from this point, you can add any dependencies that you would like and voila, you have your custom template for Create React App. Now I would like to tell you about default templates that comes with Create React App, especially about one of them, because it's pretty helpful in installing React application with TypeScript. Since creating React applications with TypeScript is pretty common, we have possibility to do it with Create React App as well. So, how to do it? I told you about predefined templates for Create React App. And there is one called TypeScript, actually. And if we would like to have our ready application in React with TypeScript, we just need to use npx Create React App, our application name, flag template, and pass TypeScript. Simple, easy, just like this. If you don't follow with some code, you can always check out our article for this video. I will link it below so you can copy the code there. The last thing I would like to explain about Create React App and scripts that are, the, that are the result of Create React App is npm run eject. So when we are building our application using Create React App, we have our React scripts and there are four scripts which we can find in a package JSON after installation. There is start, build, test and eject. And as start, build and test are pretty understandable for everybody, then eject is not so easy. So what is eject and why we can use it, when we should use it and when we shouldn't use it? Eject is a tool that can be used just once on your application. It can't be redone, so you have to think about it 
it would be better to think about it in the beginning of your development and think if you really need that. And what does Ajax do? When we create application using Create React App, our application is... It's packed to React scripts. And we don't have direct access to Webpack config, to Bubble config and other configs that might be there. And sometimes we would like to have access to those configs. Then we should use Ajax because Ajax unpacks our application and allows us to use webpack config and bubble config and set different settings that we would like to have and we can't have them when our application is packed into React scripts. I would say that when you are creating a simple application, it's totally not necessary but if you would like to do some more advanced webpack configuration that it's not possible to be done with React scripts, then go ahead and do it. Great! I hope that after this video you understand what is Create React App and how great tool is it. How it simplifies the process of bootstrapping a React.js application how it helps to create application with TypeScript, React Router, React Redux and lots of lots of libraries that we like and we don't want to configure them every time from scratch. I think it's a great tool for beginners and also for a little bit more advanced developers because not every pro project requires us to create a special setup for that. So, if we don't have to waste too much time, simplify things with tools like Create React App, for example. I hope you liked the video and you like all the series about React. If you would like to see more videos about React, I will link them below and you can check our playlist. So you can take a look at different topics about basics of React. If you liked the video, remember about thumbs up, leaving us some comment and subscribing the channel if you don't do it yet. There is a juicy red button in the bottom. Also, don't forget to check out our social media where you can get some interesting news and to visit our blog where you will always, once a week, find an interesting article. And also some pieces of code from this video. Have a great day! Bye!